Hello people, David here and welcome to BTEC. And it's time for a quick hands-on with the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. Now this one will be available in January and pricing, although it's still to be confirmed, will be around about 450 to 500 pounds, which is extremely well priced when you consider the specs. There's a total of four cameras, a 12 megapixel rear camera with large 1.4 micron pixels and a two megapixel depth sensor for portrait and HDR. A 24 megapixel selfie camera complemented with a two megapixel depth sensor are both hidden away underneath the screen and are revealed with this sliding motion. Xiaomi put a lot of thought and time into the sliding mechanism and have settled on a design that uses magnets. Once you start the sliding process, the magnets will take over and then lock it into place. And it does have a very satisfying click every time you do it. The screen is a massive 6.4 inch Full HD Plus display at 1080 by 2340 resolution with a pixel density of 402 ppi and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. The camera is actually rated as the third best smartphone camera in the world. And as well as having a night mode a la P20 Pro, Xiaomi have also included the ability to record portrait style video and 960 frames per second super slow motion. Is it proper super slow motion or is it the software based stuff that you get with certain other devices? Well, I have to wait until I get one in the studio before I can test it out. But whatever the results, it's definitely a top tier camera. Inside the Mi Mix 3, there's a Snapdragon 845 processor, six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Now these are UK specs, but there are models with 256 gigs of storage and up to 10 gigs of RAM. Power is provided by a 3,200 milliamp hour battery, which doesn't sound like too much, but this phone will be running Android 9 straight out of the box. And in my experience with phones running Android 9, that battery capacity should be plenty to get you through the day. It's packaged really nicely in this black box, as well as the phone and the usual bits and pieces. You get a free case and a 10 watt wireless charger. Shout out to Techzilla for being my hand model there. Nice one, bruv. Now, as I mentioned before, the Mi Mix 3 won't be coming until the first quarter of 2019. And by then we're gonna start to see phones that have got Snapdragon 855s and 5G support. Now, Xiaomi are conscious of this and say that they're planning an updated version of the Mi Mix 3 with an 855 and 5G support. If they can price it as well as this phone, then I think that will do really well, but that's highly unlikely considering the new tech. So although I didn't get along with it, my first impressions are good. That full view display looks great, and I'm a sucker for any phone that's got a good camera. So I'm really looking forward to getting this one in the studio so I can really get to grips with it. Other things to note, there's no headphone jack and no expandable storage. Also, the slider mechanism probably would need some serious engineering to keep the water and dust out. So therefore, there's no IP rating. At the moment, there's also no facial unlocking system with the front cameras. Unlocking is done with the rear mounted fingerprint scanner. But Xiaomi have planned an update that will add this feature to the phone. But overall, it's a good looking phone with a handy little camera and it's all screen. So if you really hate those notched phones, then this one might be for you. Okay, that's it from me. This was just a quick hands-on with the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. I think it's a nice device and I'm looking forward to testing out that camera. Let me know what you guys think of the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 in the comments below. Before we go, I need to say a big thank you to Direct Mobiles for supporting us here at BTEC. They have a great selection of the latest phones, plus 24 years of award-winning customer service. Check in the description for a link to their site or search directmobiles.co.uk. Oh, and one more thing. I've started a new channel called BTEC Samples. It's a place where I'll be uploading all of my sample footage that I get when I'm out doing my reviews and comparison videos. All the photo and video samples will be available for download too, so it'd be great if you could head over there and check it out. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications, and smash the like button for me. Thanks for watching. I'm David Wildman, and this is BTEC.